As a businessman, I need to be close to my market. This building's in the middle of it, and that's important. I moved here because my property manager and architect convinced me it was the best. So, here I am. Business deals have been consummated in city buildings since the Industrial Revolution. And the style of a building often determines the success of a deal. Long ago, buildings ceased being monuments to aesthetics. They were quickly recognized as saleable products, the rate of returns being determined by the quality of services offered to tenants. Today, developers are required to include a series of technological strengths in their buildings to withstand the speed of innovation, which combined with location, command the highest returns. It is therefore the inherent technology of a building which adds to its productivity. Today, the percentage of the total cost of a building is almost equally divided between its technology and the building itself. The role of technology in modern architecture has produced an industry involved in the total management of building services. The leading edge of this technology requires the lateral thinking employed by DKS, a pace setter since the 70s. DKS's innovations have led the industry, not just in Australia, but around the world. Initially involved in access control, DKS recognized the rising market requirements for service management technology. They brought together a team of computer scientists and design engineers to develop that market and establish an ongoing philosophy. This design team formulated questions to ascertain the intelligence level of any building, hence the term, the intelligent building. American engineers were quick to follow with the smart building. The experience of working as a team over a long period of time has resulted in a uniquely skilled group of technicians with a history of solutions, placing them consistently ahead of the field. Then clients required controlled access to services in buildings. And that's where we've been able to really shine. My major focus is to decipher the information in the context of their requirement. The interaction between these team members is shown in, in, in the products that we design. And we regard the products as being a team product. Well, yes, the team is quite competitive. And their main goal is to produce a product which is superior to the competitors. Recognising market needs sets in motion enormous effort into developing solutions. In the case of building services management, the tenant begins the demand for reliable technology. We have a situation here where architects and developers thrust tenants high into the air so they can be centrally located near to their markets. It's an extremely expensive exercise. Developers have to get it right the first time to maximise the life of a building and the technology they choose has to be proven, simple to use and fast. That technology is Nexus. Nexus has been designed as the most technically advanced product in the market, as have all the DKS products. But we've used this technical advantage to make Nexus simpler to operate. The payoff to the building is that the tenants are happy and therefore the building managers are more successful against their competitors in the marketplace. In a single day, the service demands on the modern high-rise office building range from access control to instant diagnostics, computer controllers, interactive operations and communications, which only 10 years ago were futuristic pipe dreams. Today, these services are considered essential for any building to be tenanted on a long-term basis. Having these services is one thing. Managing them through computer technology is where Nexus leads the field. On the outside, two buildings may look very similar. But it's on the inside that technological inclusions like Nexus determines the rentability of an office building. If my tenants here are comfortable, happy and producing a profit, then my building has done a good job and so have I. One of the most attractive aspects of Nexus is its ease of operation and the low service costs.
Some systems in the marketplace are like dinosaurs. They employ extinct technology, and you need to be a computer boffin to alter some of them. Whereas Nexus is user-friendly, also provides an object-orientated facility for modifying the system's operation. The reassuring clincher, of course, with Nexus and DKS, is the backup they give to all their systems. Because of their leadership and innovation, DKS has developed the ability to back up their services anywhere in the world. In strong recognition of its place in the international building services market, James Hardy Industries Building Services Division has invested in DK Systems. The range of building services that James Hardy provides complements this operation, adds clout in the market to DKS and the total building solution to James Hardy customers. It's the lateral thinking applied to DKS's products which allows me to build onto present technology. That means I don't have to eliminate the present system to upgrade and with Nexus I can do it myself. It also means I really do control the building's life expectancy by maintaining the edge on technology and by running the services in the most cost-effective manner. The reason I chose this building was for its location. I was told it had the latest building technology and that's very important. But frankly, I don't know how it works and I shouldn't need to. As long as it does work, that's what matters to me. If it doesn't, that's when I'll consider moving. <laughs>